This exponent problem looks scary, but there's a 10 second trick to crack it. Which expression is equivalent to all those H's? Oh boy. Exponents and a fraction. When in doubt, just simplify. Okay, starting at the top, can we smash H to the 15 and Q to the 7 together? Uh, not how math works. What about the bottom? Mm, nope, none of the bases are the same. Okay, well, H, there's one on top and one on the bottom. Same with Q. Wait, our exponent rules tell us when we have the same base in the numerator and denominator, we can subtract the exponents. So h to the 15 over h to the 5 is just h to the 15 minus 5, which is h to the 10. And q to the 7 over q to the 21 is just q to the 7 minus 21, which equals q to the negative 14. So we get h to the 10 times q to the negative 14. That doesn't look like any of our answer choices. Crap. Okay, this seems sus. A negative exponent? That means we can just flip it to the bottom. So q to the negative 14 is the same as 1 over q to the 14. It's A! Want more SAT hacks? Click the video below.